What is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm in a bit of a hurry right now because my mole worm is about to die. I just found another one. He's pretty brand freaking new. All right, uh, let's see. Quick, 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 quick. We're gonna make two electric doodads. Uh, and then we need light moggles. Yes, the moogles. The moogles are ours. All right, so moggles basically give you, uh, Night vision, from what I've been told. We are gonna check this out, but first we should probably get rid of our uh, gold nuggets because we are going into the depths. That's right. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide everybody because they are coming to get me. I don't know what I am doing here. Let's go. Uh, let's actually put the shovel down and I should probably also put down the hammer because there's no mole worms down and below for me to smack. And in fact, I didn't even use that hammer. I used another one. Because I forgot I had that one in my inventory. So I used... I, I made a new hammer. And then I ended up putting it away. And then I realized I had that one. But, uh, you know, whatever. Alright, so uh, let's go down below into the caves. Here we go. Welcome back to the caves, ladies and gentlemen. This is where you cry your eyes out. I'm gonna place that. Oh, look at that. Our our leafy bulbs actually survived. Oh, only one of them survived. Oh wait, no, no, no. Okay, okay, we're good. All right, so I'm gonna plant this one really close to um, the end here. Actually, let's just attack this first. There we go. Come on. Okay, I gotta do this a little faster than that. Alright, I think- Oh! No! Okay! <laughs> well, now we're down to three. Alright, so I'm gonna place this one right here. That should do. I'm gonna throw on my moggles and see what we can see. Whoa! That's so cool! Alright, um, you don't want these guys to be too close together. I don't think we need an extra one, to be honest, so I'm just gonna put that inside of my backpack. There we go. And I don't really need to be wearing my floral shirt right now, so I'm actually going to keep my backpack on the go. I should be careful of not having meat, but we are going to check out the depths. The world shudders! We've got an earthquake coming! Um... Oh, there's some rocks! Oh, this is not good! Oh my! Oh no! Oh no! Earthquakes! <laughs> That's awesome! Most of the stuff that... Oh, look at that! There are moles under here! Oh my gosh, that would have been so useful. Unless that's something completely different. No, that's a mole. That is a mole worm. Oh no, not that guy! I want to attack the mole worm. Oh, he digs without abandon. Anyways, yeah, today we are going to be spending almost all of our time here just checking out... Stalagmite. Uh, just checking out the... Um, the underground air place here so this should keep us safe from the spiders over there I didn't realize that that was only like a small little area over there man these moggles are amazing they don't seem to last too long though which is a bit of a problem what happened to my lantern is another issue I think my lantern might have been eaten up by uh, this guy right here so that's something we should be careful of I might need to make another lantern to be honest uh, in which case it, that that shouldn't be too much of a problem Oh, look at that. Some flint and some rocks and stuff. That's normally what uh, falls down here. Ooh, okay. What is this stuff here? Ooh, look at that. We got some light flowers. Sweet light flowers. Ah, uh, that is a giant tentacle. I have been warned to stay the heck away from those guys. Yeah. <laughs> they are massive. Holy cow. Can I kill it? Kill it with a tentacle spike. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, that's a lot of tentacles. Oh, they hit, <laughs> they hit themselves. That's so awesome. Okay, there we go. Oh, they only take one hit. They only take one hit, but there's a lot of them. Ah, and for some odd reason, Wigfrid doesn't want to attack them. Auto attack them. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> All right. Oh no, never mind. This was a bad idea. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> Let's not attack the big tentacles. I don't even think you get anything cool from them anyways, but uh, <clears throat> we might actually check that out. I'm going to plant some berries. Throw these berries down because I don't really need them. 
Ah, I am losing my voice. There seems to be a frog in me throat. All right, so uh, this is really cool, I must say. I gotta watch it though, because I need to be able to use the moggles to get back. I could use a torch, I guess, but like, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of lame. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab a bunch of these light bulbs because I, I've been told that you can use them to uh, fuel up your, uh, what's it called? Do do do, lantern. Where is the lantern, by the way? Oh yeah, I also have the miner's hat that I can use on time as well. That is a tentacle swipe. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. So I'm gonna grab a buttload of these guys. Uh, I'm not even sure if they're used in the recipe to make them. I think they are. Yeah, they are. Okay, so all I need is a little bit of rope and I can actually make myself a lantern too. So maybe that's what I'll do right now. Um, let's see, make a bit of rope. So one, two. Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, oh right, <laughs> I'm not gonna make two lanterns. Come on now, that's ridiculous. Oh yeah, you can add fuel to them. Okay, that's cool. I don't wanna pick too many of them because uh, at the same time, like, it's nice to have them, but um, they can also be a bit of a pain. Like, they, they can die out on you. Okay, so that's one area pretty much covered. I kind of want to check out what's in here, because this is probably the first time in the entirety of the time that I've played uh, Don't Starve that I have actually been to the underground. I'm very unfamiliar with every part of this, so bear with me. <laughs> if, uh, if you guys have played Don't Starve to the point where you actually get to this all the time, bear with me, I don't really know what I'm talking about here. But, uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna do a little bit more exploring, and I'll let you guys know if I find anything super awesome. Alright, well, I didn't really get that far. I need to go back up to the surface because I am overheating. This is not good. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> back to the surface we go. Back to the surface. There we go! Uh-oh! Take off the marbles so I can see myself burning. Oh my gosh! Ah, the sun! It burns. It burns so hot. All right, uh, throw some poop in that. There we go. Okay, come on, cool me down, cool me down. A lot quicker than that, please. Please, 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 please. All right, place that down as well. I should probably take some... Oh, I had niter with me. Darn it! All right, it wasn't letting me place down the endothermic fire. Darn. Well, that sucks. Um, maybe I'll make myself a secondary endothermic fire pit. And when I say secondary, I mean tertiary, because we've got two on the go already. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I added a, an extra layer to the uh, tooth trap here. It's actually coming along pretty nicely. Anyways, I'm gonna head back into um, the underground now. So, see you then. See you when I find something is what I mean. Yeah. Okay, I found something interesting. I don't know why, but there is an eye plant right here in the middle of everything. <laughs> I think that's a bit of a glitch. Anyways, let's continue on. Okay, it seems as though we don't have to be crazy for us to get some of these uh, malefic visions. So, I'm gonna kick its butt. Oh, ow. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're just gonna kick, keep kicking its butt. Keep kicking its butt. Or is it kicking mine? I think it was kicking mine there. But, uh, you know, what they say, I'm too good for everybody. Do they actually say that? I don't know. Alright, let's uh, continue on going here. We got another fern. Pick fern. Oh, okay, that gives me foliage. Uh, foliage can be used... Oh, look at that, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, foliage can be used, by the way, to uh, kind of make yourself some plants. What? Oh! That is a depth for him. Let's go fight him. Oh wait, no, I don't have any armor. Let's not fight him. <laughs> I probably should have brought some armor because like everything down here should be extremely strong. Oh, there he goes. Ah! Don't! No! Go away! I don't want to! Bad touch. Bad touch indeed. Alright, so I'm gonna keep on going and hopefully this guy will leave me the heck alone. It's like... It's like um, a guy that's like maliciously calling you all the time and creeping you on Facebook. You just want him to go away, but he won't. Alright, we have giant carrot- Oh my gosh, you're adorable! Why are you trying to attack me? 
Is because I have the leafy green stuff? Here, let me put that down. Why do you hate me? Ah! <laughs> I don't know why, but he hates me. Ah, maybe it's because I'm wearing the moggles. I don't know. But he seems to want me to die. He's so adorable, though. Oh my god, he's adorable. You're gonna die. Oh no, never mind. I'm gonna be the one that's gonna die. Oh my goodness. Uh, I forgot I had no armor. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna head back to the surface. I'm gonna make myself some armor and then uh, hopefully I don't die. Cause uh, death down here is just as permanent as it is up top. So you gotta be very careful of that. Man, that guy is adorable. Why does he hate me so much though? I think it might be because like I was carrying meat because I know that those guys are strict vegetarians. All right, let's see if I can make it through here. Without getting hit, please. Yes! Oh, uh, Yeah. Alright, so I'll be- Hey guys, welcome back. We got ourselves some wolves a-coming. So, uh, I was actually just chopping down some trees, getting my tree farm ready to go, and getting myself some materials for some armor. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go and hide from the wolves for now. So, that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll be right back once they get over here. Oh, wait. Oh, are they coming yet? Ah! I don't know. I'll be right back. Here we go! Oh, and the first one's down, the second one's down, they're all down! They're dying! They're dying! <laughs> yeah, these pits are actually really freaking efficient. Oh crap, this is not good, since they um, are fired. Oh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Oh, this is not good. Uh, throw this on. Go, 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 go! Ah! We desire food! Oh, look at that, we had a crock pot. I didn't even know that. We're really low on food, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to uh, do some rabbit traps and stuff. And uh, once I get a little bit more food and, you know, clean this up and everything, because... Oh no! Everything's going away! I like, I like ashes. Give me ash. Oh, oh, give me those ashes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to uh, kind of make myself a little bit of a backlog of some food and stuffs and then I will be uh, right back. Welcome back guys, I just kind of wanted to remind you that you are going to need, especially in the summer, some fertilizer for all of your crops. This can be anything from poop to rot, you know, the, the normal stuff. Uh, but you are going to refertilize, uh, need to refertilize things like grass. But um, you can avoid that by turning on your ice flingomatic. I didn't have my ice flingomatic on at this time, but uh, yeah, once you have it refertilized, it should stay for the rest of the um, of the summer season. So, yeah, that's something that's pretty good. I put up a couple more traps. We still haven't gotten much food out of it yet, though. I definitely want to get some more food before I go down. Holy cow, <laughs> that is a lot of uh, rot that I have here. So yeah, I'm just gonna refertilize some things while I'm waiting for uh, some of the traps. And I got a lot of wood out of my tree farm here. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna keep doing that, so bye. Oh no 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 Crap Ah no No I thought I had this turned on. Oh no, that's not cool. That is not cool. So make sure that you do have your ice flingomatic on. Oh man, that sucks. Crap. I should turn that off for now. Oh man, that is so shitty. Oh, the first thing I have to make is a crock pot, though, because I am really starving. Oh my gosh. I don't mind too much this stuff being on the ground, because, like, the only thing that's really worrisome is the ashes. And, um, losing the Shadow Manipulator is kind of a pain in the ass, but, uh, I think I can make another one pretty easily. Yeah, so it's just a purple gem. The Nightmare Fuel is the only thing that's gonna cost me the most, but... Crap! There goes all my chests. Um, let's see what we get back from the crockpot. Oh, okay, we get a large amount of it. That's not too bad. Um, let's actually put down a thermal stone, because it's not going to help us right now. And we're going to turn on the lantern. 
Alright, I'm gonna rebuild a bunch of my stuff and uh, get myself some food and I will be... Oh crap, crap. Okay, not a quick. I want to go on the ground. There we go. And I will be right back. Okay, so we ran out of space for some odd reason. Couldn't put a um, <clears throat> crock pot over here and so we put it over here and then it burned again. Yay! We are fantastic. And by we, I mean me. I am terrible at this game. Holy cow! Oh my gosh, when it burns, it freaking burns! Yeah, so very, be very, very, very careful of uh, summertime. Anything that can burn, make sure that it is protected, including yourself. I'm just gonna go over here so that I can cook, because if I uh, put a fire on over next to my ice fling matic it's gonna just put it out right away, and that's just really annoying. And I'm gonna need some food anyways. Yeah, not really making all that much progress. It's been two days, two don't, don't starve days, and we really haven't cleaned up the mess at all. It's like all over the place. We finally got a chest down. I'm just putting, um, I think my manure and my extra fuel sources and stuff like that in there. So, uh, like, you know, this is a fuel source, so I put it in there. Um, by the way, lanterns are probably the sexiest thing I have ever seen. Like, they are amazing. Holy cow. Add some fuel to that, because, man, are they ever good. 58%. Oh, actually, let's pick this up. Go over here and add fuel until it's 100. Add fuel. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Yeah, they are like really, really good. Uh, we are really low on food and a bunch of other stuff, and it's just a big pain in the butt. Ah, oh, my goodness. Anyways, yeah, uh, so I'm gonna do a little bit more of this cleanup, and I'll be back when there's something a little bit more interesting to talk about. Welcome back, guys. I wanted to show you that I didn't really get all that much progress uh, done. Like, we're pretty organized, but, like, not need. Like, I think I need one more chest, and then I'll be happy. I do have a bunch of, like, random tools and stuff that uh, we're just taking up inventory space inside the chests anyways. Um, but I do have it pretty organized right now. It's pretty decent. And I also wanted to show you that I remembered to make a chilled amulet. But for some odd reason, it just wasn't chilling me near as much. Like, it wasn't dropping my... Uh, I think I think it only drops your temperature if you're in uh, if your sanity goes down So like if your sanity is down then it's able to heal it up and therefore it'll start making you cold because of that But I'm not entirely sure how it works. All I know is I got up to uh, like 63 degrees Celsius which by the way is the uh, around the point that you start taking some damage and um and I was even wearing the chilled amulet, so I was a little confused about that. Uh, it does seem to like really help a lot more than the floral shirt at keeping my temperature down, but uh, I don't think it's worth it considering it costs a heck of a lot than the uh, a lot more than the floral shirt, because uh, it cost me three gold and one blue gem. Now I do have a lot of blue gems, but I don't have very much gold, and I might actually rectify that here soon by going to the pig king. I do have some easy ways of getting to him, so, uh, yeah. Also, we still haven't really fixed our food situation, mainly because I don't have, um, I don't really have the resources at the time, like, well, the time to, uh, devote towards that right now. Right now I need more trees, more wood, because, you know, I came up to the surface to get some armor, and here I am, like, you know, completely refurbishing my base. Seems as though every time that I get up in, like, resources, something happens and then I just lose all of them. Like, I'm really low on grass again. Uh, this is the only stack I have, whereas I have a bunch of twigs. Because I had to make a bunch of traps and stuff, so... You know, that's the way Don't Starve is, that's the way most resource management games are, is a lot of... Um, once you go through those resources, you kind of try and make them work for you, but I don't know. Oh well, what can you do? Anyway, so I am getting some more wood because I'm going to need some to make myself another crock pot. <laughs> Hopefully this one, um, I don't know, like I just didn't have the space to put it in there. I had it there before, but like I couldn't fit it back in there. And you'll find that with this game sometimes, like sometimes you have a very nice compact base, but as soon as something breaks you can't place it in the same spot that it was before because, you know, things are in the way now. But uh, yeah. So, um, I need to cook some stuff and other things. I'll be back when I am not doing running around with my head cut off 
So, yeah. I really don't like this. Oh my gosh. Why can't I place you down? Come on. Place down. Come on. Come on. I'm starving. Come on. Uh, I think this chest is in the way here. Am I going to have to break a chest? I want my crock pot back in my little base here, but like, there's so much crap in the way. Oh my gosh. And of course, I'm going to overheat and then I'm going to starve, so I might as well go over this way and cook up these guys here that I have. Uh, we'll drop the walking cane for now. Oh my goodness. When it rains, it pours, except it doesn't really rain. It's not raining this time around, I should say. Boom, let's do that. Cook this stuff up. This seems, seems very counterproductive. I have both fires going, so if I stand in the middle, do I, like, cool down? Oh, yeah, I cool down when I'm standing next to both of them. All right, that's pretty neat. Anyways, yeah, I still can't get this bloody crockpot down. I'm going to have to play around with it a lot more. Uh, I thought I'd just show you guys my frustrations. Grr, this is my enemy. <laughs> I have wasted so much time. Let this be a lesson to you. Always leave your ice, and make sure that you do refuel it often as well. The ice flowing nomadic is a, a thirsty mofo. Like, it always requires fuel, and it's just a big pain in the butt. Okay, here's what I think we're going to have to do. We're going to have to break this. Yeah, we're going to have to break this. There we go. We only got two boards back, but that's all right. I can make some more boards. Um, okay. I hope... I hope my crockpot can go here. By the way, my chests are a little bit messed up. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, no. I thought it was going to go a little... I don't like that light. Okay. It's just a little grass stuff burning. All right. Whenever I see light at night and I, it's the summertime, I always know that it's going to be something ridiculous. I want this here. Oh, yes, of course, it's hound time again. All right, so can we place down the crockpot? This is this is the million dollar question. No! Oh, no! I'm gonna have to play with it a lot more. I'm gonna wait until the hounds come and I'll be right back. Here we go! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't catch me, I'm the ginger man. Ginger man? Yes. <laughs> Not the gingerbread man, don't get me mistaken. Ginger man. That's right. I just, like, lather myself in ginger all the time. Alright, which isn't too, too bad. I mean, it does burn the nose a little tiny bit, but, uh, yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot better than you would think. Man, those fires are massive. Yeah, another good reason to have, like, one of these massive pit things is during the summer they do have those red hounds that do cause fires. And you really don't want that around your base, cause, or, like, around anything for that matter, because it will burn them up pretty fiercely. Anyways, I'm going to play around, see if I can't get my crockpot here. If I can't, then I might have to, like, put it here or, like, somewhere, somewhere a little less, uh, effective to say the least, so we're gonna test, we're, we're gonna play around with that a little bit, I guess, and, uh, yeah, I'll be back when it's, when it's placed down, I hope. Victory hath been accomplished. Yeah, it was that chest was just placed a little poorly, that's all. Um, good tip, though, I, I can say when dealing with things like that, place your chest down afterwards, because the chests really don't give two shits, like, where they're placed in respect to other items, uh, but things like the crockpot, science machines, and stuff like that actually, for some odd reason, require a large space um, uh, around them before they're able to be placed. So, like, the crockpot requires, like, this larger area, whereas the chest doesn't even care. And we are on fire again! Oh, lovely. Oh, we're gonna start taking damage here if I don't get over to this thing here. Nope, let's use twigs because we got lots of twigs. Oh my gosh. I should be using poop, but, you know, I'm weird. Alright, so... Oh my gosh. This episode has just been, like, trying to fix the damage that we caused by not fireproofing our base. Oh my goodness. Has it ever been a pain in the butt? Um... Let's kill him. There we go. Alright, so, um... Yeah. 
Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I think what I want to do, like, especially around uh, autumn-ish, when, when, you know, I don't have to deal with the weather or the elements or anything like that, I think what I want to do is start making myself little tiny mini bases or like outposts uh, around like kind of around wormholes that are near my base. So like this one right here, this one right here, I, um, wherever they lead, just like make little tiny outposts on the other side. So like uh, this one right here leads to over here. I was thinking about just like making a little tiny base or something outpost right here and that way like... I can travel around the map and not have to worry too much about having to travel all the way back here. Now, mind you, this wormhole, like, this wormhole leads to this one. That's, like, pretty much equal distance, so I might not do it for that, but, like, there are some other wormholes around that uh, are pretty useful that way. I'd definitely like to set up a base in there, so maybe what I'll do in between this episode and next, because I know it's not really the wrapping up point, but, um... Like, there's a lot of off-camera work that I really have to do, so I think it'd be best for me to just do all of that off-camera and then, like, come back in another episode and just have a giant episode of me building things, I guess. And, um, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do in between this episode and next is just have, um, just kind of gather a bunch of resources and try and, like, set up a little bit of these bases or, like, at least get the resources together to set up these bases. And one other thing that I wouldn't mind trying out is getting myself um, a base maybe, like, around here-ish. And instead of having... Instead of having, like, a normal fire pit, I'd have, like, an endothermic fire pit and, like, some ice fling around it and stuff and call that, like, my summer base. And then just completely avoid this base while it's during the summer. I don't know if that's, like, the best way of doing things, but, like... It could be pretty interesting. Uh, maybe I'll just like put it right here instead. And that way I do have like a few things around me during the summertime and I don't have to, like I don't have to use this one that's just like outside. It feels as though I'm like in the doghouse type thing. I'm just like kicked my own uh, I've been kicked out by the glomer and Melvin and Charles for being too smelly. It kind of sucks. They're so mean to me. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was so frustrating for me. Um, but yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until then, bye!